In this video, we have a case study involving diffuse calcific tendinosis of the proximal infrapatellar tendon. The anatomy demonstrated in this picture is the white infrapatellar tendon, the yellow Hoffa's fat pad, followed by the blue articular hyaline cartilage surrounding the anterior surface of the femur, and light blue would be the normal synovial recess that is the suprapatellar recess. In this image, we see a normal infrapatellar tendon as it inserts to the tibial tuberosity of the proximal tibia. Highlighted in white is the bony surface anatomy. In blue is the fibrillar pattern of the infrapatellar tendon. In the next image, we see diffuse calcific tendinosis of the insertion of the infrapatellar tendon to the highlighted in white tibial tuberosity. Highlighted in blue would be the tendon fibers, which are infiltrated by these hyperechoic shadowing calculi. In this image, we see a larger single calcific body at the insertion of the infrapatellar tendon. The next image is the proximal infrapatellar tendon at the apex of the patella. Highlighted in white is the bony anatomy of the apex of the patella at its narrowest point. In the blue is the proximal infrapatellar tendon. In our next image, we see diffuse thickening of the inferior segment of the proximal infrapatellar tendon Highlighted in white is the apex of the patella. Seems relatively unchanged. And here the more normal fibrillar pattern of the infrapatellar tendon. And the purple, which is the diffuse thickened portion, followed by a hypoechoic single vessel, likely caused by prior needle therapies to this site. In the next image, just millimeters over to the mid-sagittal line, we see a more hyperechoic insertion of the apex of the patella to be rigid. The blue represents the more normal intact tendon fibers. The red represents the calcified portion that is also followed by tendinotic fibrillar pattern change. Using power Doppler to this site also shows a large vascular presence that is not normally seen in the normal infrapatellar tendon. Here's an example of a needle coursing through this tendon, creating new paths for vascular formations, such as ABI therapies and PRP therapies.